I want to go back to Myrtle's. You can't. Well, to the cabin, then. Laura, your caseworker won't let you stay with Janet. You know that. Oh, okay, but, but the warden here gets snaps for treating me like a servant? What? We've established some new house rules. Yeah, I'm going to wear a black uniform and a white apron. She's going to help out around the house to offset the sh shoplifting fine. Well, I think that sounds fair. I want to get a job to pay her back. What about school? What is with you people? Laura, you have to take responsibility for your actions. It wasn't a bank heist, you know. No, but it was wrong. Why are you taking her side? I'm not, Laura. I just think it's a good compromise. No judge ordered me to scrub floors. Nobody talked about scrubbing floors. I said help out. You were extremely helpful around the cabin. This isn't the cabin. No, but it's either here or you've got to go to Juvie Hall. Tough choice. <laughs> well, Laura, I've been a parent long enough to Brooke, know that if you don't... you're not my parent. Brooke is trying to help you learn something, Laura. I learned. You get caught and everybody smashes you. All right, look, I, I know you're angry. If you want to throw things, fine, just throw them at me, okay? I'm to blame. I moved out of the cabin because I wanted to change my life. So if you want to take it out on me, fine, but don't take it out on you, Brooke, or your future, honey. The cabin was my home, Pierce. You and Janet and I were happy there, and that's all gone. I don't have a future. That's not true. We both love you very much. Well, then why can't we be a family again? You know, talk is cheap. Where are you going? Out! To see Myrtle. I am allowed to visit people, right? Yes. Well, of good. Course. God forbid I should break another law. Great. Look, when Laura's defenses go up, she's a little tough to get through to. That's all. Do you think that I was too rough on her? No, no, no. I, but don't give up. I mean, she'll walk all over if you let her. Now she just hates me. No, she doesn't hate you, Brooke. She's... I just wanted to be happy here. She'll come around. What if she doesn't? What if I just pushed her further away? Look how big and strong you are, you goofy. Oh, look who it is. It's your friend, Bim. Yeah, how's that big guy doing? Well, from the, uh, the looks of it, he's doing a whole lot better than his uncle. I'm, I'm okay. Is Sam ready for his nap? I think so. I think if we put you down, you will nod off. Huh. Hmm. Will you, um, put his vaporizer on? Because he sounds a little bit stuffy. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Bye-bye, sweetheart. Bye, big guy. <laughs> oh, you look like you're bubbling all over. Yeah. Well, that makes one of us. Did you have a bad day? No, I've, I've, had, I've had better. Business or personal? Or... I'm sorry, my I, I way out of no, line? No, no, no. I, I just uh, stopped by Kinder's office. Oh, enough said. You know, Maria, I am not a very calm, patient man. Good. Does that mean you throttled him? <sighs> I, yeah, well, I, I, I would have loved to have laid him out cold. Sounds perfectly normal to me. I want him out of Erica's life. What does Erica want? <sighs> she called while I was there and asked him to come by and see her. And you don't know why? Uh, you, you know... I, I can, I can keep him out of the hospital. I can tar him with negative publicity. I can try to shut down his practice, but I cannot bar him from seeing Erica. Well, you can't start too soon on the rest of it from my tape. She knows it's either him or me. Yeah, but it was the pills that chose Kinder, not Erica. He seems to think they have quite a, a, a relationship. Oh, that's just wishful thinking on his part. Come on, he can't hold, possibly hold a candle to you. My prejudiced sister-in-law. I know a good man when I see one. <laughs> well, I just wish I could be sure that, his, that Erica will cut him out of her life. If she doesn't, she and I have nothing left. A token of your victory. 
Jonathan, I can't accept that. It's a family heirloom, and I want you to have it. My grandmother. Jonathan, it, it's too much. You deserve it because you fought hard for it. I'm so proud of you, Erica. Jonathan, I did this for myself. I did this so I could reclaim my life. Yes, and here you are, more beautiful and more radiant than ever. Jonathan, I have to face what I want and, and what I need on my own terms. I couldn't agree more. I've come way too far to settle for anything less than a, a full and complete life. You deserve the best. Jonathan, if Dimitri and I stand a chance at reconciling, then we have to give our marriage 100%, all our love, all our attention. I can't accept your gift. And I can't see you at all anymore. This is how you take charge of your life. It's a step. By letting Dimitri control you. No, this is my decision. I don't believe that for a minute. You're letting him dictate your life. Dimitri and his brother, they served that smear campaign after the hit and run. Why? And it wasn't punishment for the accident, no. Dimitri wants to run me out of town because he is jealous of our relationship. I can't control that. Erica, that night at the media awards, he stood by while I took care of you. Dimitri wanted to help me. But he didn't. He abandoned you. Erica, we made love. Not only because I wanted you, but you needed me. I needed to feel safe. I needed to be close to someone. Yes, because Dimitri ignored those needs and made extraordinary demands on you. I mean, he expected you to jump through hoops to prove yourself worthy of him. And now you're in recovery, so he wants his trophy wife back. No, no, our marriage was never like that, no. Jonathan, I have my life back. The life the... Dimitri controls. No, look, we are both strong-willed people, but we have always supported each other. I mean, it's not a question. It never has been a question of control. Then why didn't he see you through your substance abuse? He walked out on you. Dimitri did what he thought was best for me. Look, I love Dimitri more than my life. That is the bottom line. That's all that matters. And me, you've left that out, haven't you? Well, damn it, Erica, what I feel for you matters, too. The thing is, if anything happens to Noah, Julia can't survive out there alone. No, we'll be fine. Well, she said he's really bad. Look, all you have to worry about is keeping Taylor off her trail. And, and the cops and Jackson? I know. I know, Matt. I hate this, too. I'm sorry. Yeah, me, too. But you know what? Hearing your voice really helps. I keep thinking about it. I keep going back to our afternoon on the beach. Mm. We'll have an encore as soon as you get home. Yeah? I don't know. It could be chilly at the shore. Well, we know how to warm things up. Yeah, and I'm beginning to think I'll be stuck with Taylor forever. <sighs> don't you dare. You're mine, you hear me? No, Julia. He's mine. He's mine! Wait, Matt. What's the matter? Matt, please. No, please, don't. Please. Haley? Wait, hi. Who was that on the phone? Was it about Noah? Julia, you have any other ideas? It's only a matter of time before you're caught. No, I can't get into this. I really can't. Okay, Ryan, give us some time. There's not much left. This is what I saw in that, that medicine you gave me, isn't it? Julia seemed dead. My medicine. It saved you then. It can save you both now. All right, we're, we're going to talk it out. I'll be back in the morning. I won't change my mind. No. 
there's nothing more that I want than, than a life with you. When was the last time you thought it could be? On our wedding day? In the chapel? You got any idea how beautiful you are? I don't think I ever saw anything more beautiful in my life than you standing there in that gown. Oh, I saw such beautiful things for us. Our kids, our home, everything that we planned. It was a beautiful dream. Dream nothing. We can still have it. Maybe not in Pine Valley or the States, but somewhere new, somewhere safe. next to me. That's more than I ever thought I could have. And I fought too hard, waited too long to give you up now. And that wedding day was the last time I felt in my soul that we could go on forever. I want that feeling back. Yeah, Corinne's idea is stupid. It's way out there. But anything that gives me just a little bit of hope of having a future with Nothing without you, Julia. Julia, Julia, I got my simple dreams. Come with me. I can't promise, I can't be sure, but I think maybe this is the way to make them come true. 